गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एट स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स द कलोलियनिज्म एंड द सिटी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर रीडिंग अबाउट हाउ डेली हैज चेंज हाउ डे हाउ द ब्रिटिशर्स हैज चेंज द सिटीज एंड आर टॉपिक इज हाउ द डेली बिकम्स द न्यू कैपिटल प्लानिंग ऑफ द न्यू कैपिटल आर टॉपिक इज प्लानिंग ऑफ द प्लानिंग अ न्यू कैपिटल द ब्रिटिशर्स वो फुली अवेयर ऑफ द सिम्बॉलिक इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ डेली students britishers were over were were in were aware of this import as the importance of the delhi in so how important the kind of the city is after the revolt of 1857 many speculators events were held there and after 57 many events held there in 1877 vice royal london organized the darbar and acknowledged queen victoria as a express to of india Remember that Calcutta was still the capital of British India. Students, at the time of eighteen fifty seven, Calcutta was still the capital, though they have expressed uh, the uh, Victoria of India, um, the Queen. Well, that is uh, why was this so? During this revolt, the British was realized that the Mughal Emperor was still important to the people, and they saw him as their leaders. Students, after the revolt of eighteen fifty seven, British was realizes that the Mughal Emperor. are uh, still still important to the people and they still think that they are the leaders therefore importance of the to celebrate british power with pop to show the city of mughal emperor had earlier ruled in the places which turned into a rebel stronghold in 1857 and the britishers want to show their power students that's why in 18 uh, because of the stronghold of the moguls that the revolt had happened in 1857 During nineteen eleven, when Britain, the King George V was crowned in England, a darbar was held in Delhi to celebrate the occasion. The decision to shift the capital of India from Calcutta to Delhi was announced at this darbar. Student in nineteen hundred eleven, a King George V crowned in the darbar of Delhi. He decided that uh, it was decided that Delhi uh, from Cal uh, the capital was shifted from Calcutta to Delhi. New Delhi was constructed as a twelve square kilometer city, and New Delhi was also constructed in ten square kilometer city, south of existing city. Two architects, Edward Linton and the Herbert Bakers, were these are the two architects who have designed the Delhi. Were um, were called on design Delhi and its building. The government complex and new building consists of two miles of new students. Uh, they started constructing the new buildings. Uh, the the rashtrapati bhavan the viceroy palace was uh, now the, the the building which is now known as the rashtrapati bhavan was a viceroy palace and the secretarial building was either side of the avenue the feature of these uh, government building was borrowed from different periods of time imperial history and students the features of these buildings has been borrowed from the two period from greek in the 5th century for instance the central dome was of sachin and the red stand were curved screen for are the jails it borrowed from the mughal architects means the designing has been done by um, borrowing the the design from the other buildings from the two buildings but the like the jail uh, the carved screen so jails that that the red building the red stone which is uh, was was very important jail so for the at the time of mughal emperor that is why the architect made sure that the viceroy palaces was higher than the shah jahan masjid and students uh, the architect make sure at that, that time the british architect make sure that the viceroy palace was should be higher than the shah jahan jama masjid how was this to be done delhi to nearly 220 years to build new delhi took 20 years to build the idea was to build a city that struck contrast to shah jahan bad there was no crowded mohallas no maze narrow lane by lanes in new delhi there was to be broadened street and street lines students the, the new delhi which was been made which took 20 years was different from the shah jahan bad and there was no narrow lanes no mohallas all the sparkling mansions are there big buildings big compound large compound architect wanted new delhi to represent a sense of law and order and they want that uh, the architects want that the delhi should represent the law and order in contrast to the chaos of the new delhi old delhi chaos to chaos of the new delhi the new delhi all the city also had to be clean and healthy space and students of so the new delhi which was being considered as a new that time the 
the clean and healthy place the british was over crown shadows unhygienic and a healthy source of the diseases this meant that the new delhi has a better water supply sewage disposal drainage facilities and than the old city it had to be green the trees are parked ensuring a fresh air and the adequate supply of oxygen so all this is how the delhi new delhi has been made which was good good facilities hygienic facilities or good water supply for the britishers disposable sewage ed- adequate supply of oxygen should be there tree facilities were also made there which was totally different from the old delhi clear thank you class